Welcome to my YouTube channel Modi Mechanical Engineering Tutorials. In this video, I would like to explain in details on to a gas welding process. So let us start with a principle of gas welding process. So before starting the principle of the operations, let us see the which kind of equipments is being used for a gas welding process. So just you can see starting with the equipments. So here it will be an oxygen cylinder which will be having a green color or black color. So that will be the color code is being used for an oxygen cylinder. And another gas is being used as an acetylene cylinder. So basically acetylene cylinder which will be having a red color. So you can easily identify both the gases into the workshop. Now working pressure and a cylinder pressure. So just you can see here it will be a cylinder valve for a oxygen cylinder and here there will be the attachment of two different kind of gauges. So just you can see this will be indication as a cylinder pressure gauge. So which will be indication the inside pressure of an oxygen cylinder and another working gauge and that will be working pressure gauge. So which kind of pressure now it will be utilized for the welding. So then you can easily control the working pressure. After this there will be the another cylinder and it will be acetylene cylinder. Similar it will be also having a cylinder valves and which will be also having a two pressure gauges. So this pressure gauge it will be indication as a cylinder pressure gauge and another pressure gauge there will be indication as a line pressure gauge. So by these two gases it will be making a different combinations. So here it will be oxygen and acetylene is being used to make a flame. So that will be known as a oxyacetylene welding process. So by operating this regulating valve and controlling the pressure from oxygen cylinder as well as from an acetylene cylinder. So by this hose pipe it will be transferring both the gases into a torch. So this is your torch. So as a construction of the torch it will be also having a two control valves. So one control valves that will be attached with an acetylene cylinder and another it will be attached with an oxygen cylinder. So you can easily control it or you can say operator can easily control the flow of both the gases and as per the my requirements of the different kind of flames it will be adjusted. So at the tip of the that torch by the mixture of both the gases it will be generating a flame. So by application of this flame it will be increasing the heat at your workplace. So the into the any welding process first step is increasing a heat. So by the this application of the heat is being generating onto the weld structure. So what happens? The base metal as well as the filler metal it will be into the molten form. And after the solidification of both the metal or you can say weld zone or you can say weld pool so it will be making a joint. So here just yes, you can see by the application of oxygen and acetylene it will be used to make a flame and by the application of filler metals your joint is being carried out. So now we will discussing with a principle of operations. So when acetylene is mixed with oxygen in correct proportion into the welding torch and ignited. So this ignition it will be with the help of torch lighter or you can say matchbox. And the flame resulting at the tip of the torch is sufficiently hot to melt and join the parent metals or you can say base metals. The oxygen flames reaches a temperature about 3 to double zero degree centigrade and thus it can be melt all commercial metals which during the welding actually flow together to form a complete bonds. A filler metal road is generally added to the molten metal pool to build up the seam slightly for greater strength. So in case of gas welding process the most essential part and that will be a filler metals. So basically selection of the filler metals 
that will be having a appropriate microstructure as we can use into a base metal or parent metal. Then description and operations. So just you can see the setup for an oxygen acetylene gas welding. The equipment consists of the two large cylinders. We already discussed that one containing oxygen at high pressure and other containing acetylene gas. Two pressure regulators fitted onto the respective cylinders. We already discussed that and regulates or you can say it will be controls the pressure of the gas following from the cylinders to the welding torch as per the requirements. The welding torch is used to mix both the gases oxygen and acetylene gas in proper proportion and burn the mixer at its tips. A matchsticks or you can say spark lighter may be used to ignite the mixer at the torch tip. The resulting flame at the tip has a temperature ranging around 3 to 00 degree centigrade to maximum 3 5 00 degree centigrade. And this heat is sufficient enough to melt the workpiece metals. Since a slight gap usually exists between a two workpiece, a filler metals is used to supply an additional materials to fill the gap. The filler metals must be the same materials or can say nearly the same chemical compositions as that of the workpiece materials. So basically that will be the selection. It will be depends upon the which kind of parent materials is being used. So sometimes it will be the dissimilar kind of metals is being used as a parent materials or you can say base materials. So at that time it will be nearly same chemical compositions, right? The molten metal of the filler metals combines with the molten metal of the workpiece and upon the solidification from a single piece of the metals. Flux if is being required may be used during the process. Suppose into the welding joints if it will be the protection from the environments. So at that time flux is being used. So flux it will be available into the powder form or you can say spray form. So it can be directly applied to the surface of the workpiece or the heated end of the filler metals may be dipped into a flux materials and use it. So basically flux materials that will be used for protection against the environment conditions. So as per the gas welding process it will be having a advantages like it is probably the most versatile process. It can be applied to a wide variety of the manufacturing as well as for the maintenance situations. Welder has considerable control over the temperature of the metals into the weld zone. The rate of heating and cooling is relatively slow. So in some cases this is an advantage. Since the source of heat and of filler metals are separated. The welder has control over a filler metal deposition rate. The equipment is more versatile, low cost and usually portable. The cost and maintenance of the gas welding equipment is low when compared to that of the some other welding processes. It will be also not having a additional power source is being required for gas welding process. That will be also considering as a one of the advantage. Now we will discussing with disadvantages of gas welding process. So first heavy sections cannot be joined economically. So that will be the disadvantage. Flame temperature is less than temperature of the arc. Fluxes used in a certain welding and bridging operations produce the fumes that are irritating to the eyes, nose, throat and lungs. So that will be dangerous for the worker or you can say it will be making a health issues for the worker. Gas flames takes a long time to heat up the melt than arc welding process. More safety problems are associated with the handling and storing of the gases. Acetylene and oxygen gases are rather expensive. Flux shielding into the gas welding is not so effective as an inert gas shielding which will be used into a TIG welding or MIG welding. 
or you can say tungsten inert gas welding process or metal inert gas welding process. So if you like this, then subscribe and share Modi Mechanical Engineering Tutorials. Thank you so much and keep watching.